Did you guys ask for a fashion trends in 2021 video? Probably a month ago. <laughs> hey guys, I know so far this is a very, very weird video. But how weird has this year also been? 2021. It's February and we've only just gotten a little taste of it. Speaking of tastes, what about the fashion senses of the season? <laughs> Move your good. I've got it all here. Well, let's get to it guys, because I'm running way behind schedule. So because your girl is having a end of beginning of life crisis, I thought we'd do this together today. Doing a little recycling here. This one. Best trend emerging this year is the balalalaklava. Balalaklava. English is apparently harder for some of us. It's this gorgeous head hugging knit. Or in other times, this cool ass wetsuit like marine sere head hugging thing? I don't know. I can't speak English, but I get whatever that is fashion and it's fine it's great for keeping warm this colder season and looks if i may say so myself elegant there's definitely something exciting about not doing your hair just something to style paint the face normally our hair does a lot of the speaking and really is a huge part of our identity whether we have it how we style it what color what shape even religion that being said after 2020 actually after our human instinct to destroy mother nature life brought in hats and I think we can still enjoy them. For a while there, hats just weren't cool. Unless they were these outrageous Vogue S ones. But they've brought in a lot of playfulness to an outfit. Personally, I love Wafwa ones. Like this one, and this one, and this one, OG, and this one. I love that it's vintage and sort of modern with all these new colors. I mean, look at Mia in this one. She is having a party. And these ones, the shape and fabric on this one, whoa. And the personality of this one. I just feel like as well, in winter, it can be hard to make an outfit look fun. If you just got this big coat, let's pop a jacket because it's warmer. Add a hat. People would even make it down the outfit to the gum boots and the fluffy shots. And you guys, if you like that, don't do this at home, kids. Terrible safety. I can't even. Are we not in love? Which brings me to the next trend, which is... Messy knits. Messy, unconventional, but still dope. Regurgitated looking knits. It's not very helpful, I think, if I tell you knits are in during winter. No brainer, but it's the fun way they're being done. We've even got embroidered knits. Knits with weird ass pictures, artsy, checkers, even oversized ones with thicker than usual yarn. Knits may have been snooze in the past. There's so many new ways they've been refurnished, recreated, modernized, regurgitated. Yeah, regurgitated. I also have an embroidery video from last week, so you can even embroider your old knit. <laughs> Whoa, what do you know? Yes! Suits are still in! I think it's kind of irresistible. Suits have been a no for women so long. Now we're just determined to make suits ours. P.S. I'm full of crap 99% of the time. But because we get bored really easily, TikTok having proved that. Therefore, X is still positive if requirement Y at a tie is still met. Did I sound smart? I studied basic coding for a bit, so we're born at a tie. At a tie. Mary did, Acne did, this guy did. I just add this because I like the colors. And keep in mind, the goal isn't to look like men in black agents. Have fun with colors, monochrome, different textures, different patterns, accessories. Lesson of this video. Damn, this look is cool, acne. Anyone else having fun with the scrunched up effect? Like, I didn't iron my clothes. Intentionally. Virgil Abloh said it was cool. I agree. Question is, do you agree? Mm -hmm. Do ya? Even added to bags, as I mentioned in my last Fall Trends video, and my favorite, probably this acne look. So pretty, I just can't even. Oh, and I have some cute blouses. I printed these because the vintage blouse look is so extra. It's extravagant, but feminine, but bold. I have no logical explanation, but it's pretty. And so easy to style and wear. Because you just add it with denim. Just add it with anything simple in your wardrobe and you are good. 
can be good is very good, but nothing is as good as people sometimes forget is to be good. Thank you, knockoff Dr. Seuss. Ooh, and as well, vintage blouses with gorgeous collars. If you get sick of the blouse itself, layer it with a different shirt, cardigan, knits, but keep the collar out. It's a gorgeous accessory. And perfect tech. You like scarves? It's winter. So scarves aren't a question of if, but how. Most previous trends from last year really dove into the silk scarves trend. I'm telling you. I have a massive box of vintage silk scarves and they haven't been used in a while. So naturally, the trend is still here. Vintage silk scarves. You can continue wearing them the same way. I have a video as well for a link up above. <laughs> if you want to style scarves. For winter. Add these two looks to your repertoire. It could almost look like a balaclava if you add the hat with it. And this acne look just knocked the socks off of me. Your vintage scarves can be the color that pops off your outfit. Mm. Where are you guys? I'm thinking maybe, maybe this next one is here. Maybe it's happening under the covers. Maybe, 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 maybe. Who am I kidding? <laughs> my heart. It's here. It's right here. Up in my face. Sort of uncomfortable. I want some space, but sort of can't think straight. I need it! Yeah. That sort of trend. The emotionally complicated one. If this doesn't convince you otherwise, then it's just a great idea. Whether or not it's gonna break the trend breaker, I'm here for it. Or here. In it. And I'll be okay. Velvet! So, the awkward part is I can't even get an immediate response from you guys while I'm filming this video, so please. <laughs> please let me know in the comments. These ones are both acne and I just can't. Velvet hasn't been cool in years and it needs to be back. Thank you, acne. Next. Next. I think it's only natural that I talk about another fabric. It is doing the rounds. Has been for a bit, but I think it needs more attention. Had to dig deep into the dictionary to find this one, but that is what this is. Tapestry. Old. It's that look your grandma used to have hanging on the windows. That's a cunt. It's the fabric she used to carry as a purse. Fabric she was obsessed with before she died in 2019. Okay, I'm talking about my grandma. It looks incredible as is, but going off that patchwork look that was so in last year, it looks better matched with other fabrics and prints. I adore this marine serre combo. It's vintage but futuristic. Same with this gorgeous marine serre dress because people, it feels like it's vintage. Yes, but it's refreshed because it's been done a different way that is modern and relevant for today. Vintage but trendy but flattering. Also, as someone that has a tapestry purse, it's just so easy to match all the colors that are in trends today. Color palettes. I didn't even. Oh, you guys! I've got to get something off my chest. I'm gonna supply you with as much new information as I can so you can be great. I feel great with all the clothes that you're probably not even going to be able to wear this year. Okay! But there is a lot of similar stuff to last year. Fall is pretty similar to winter. They call it fashion runway 2020-2021. Anyway, colors. It's still... Oranges, creams, greens, pastel, yellows, and pinks, purples. Pretty and light versus bold and vibrant. And another thing that is still popular... Matching sets. Something so comfortable, safe, predictable about matching sets. It's for the falling society that loves routine and order and still don't know when they're going to get a job, get to travel to see their families. It's the prince that we love, the checker that just feels so retro. Checkers, checkers, checkers. Coats that are too expensive to buy for any normal American. For Australian. It's the fun and playful jewelry we need because we can't afford diamond or gold or silver. Or even plated. Plastic rings if you want to go get engraved at Tiffany's. Make them yourself out of the beads, clay, bumblebees, and diamonds you still have left in your parents' cupboards. They're still here. They're sticking. Because we need them. And if trends keep changing, how on earth are we to keep up? Okay, that's enough. I went for way too long. Do y'all like stockings? Colourful stockings will spice up your outfit. Opt out the black stockings, the tan. Have fun with some lighter pastels, like blue. This look. I love you, Maymo, New York. These white stockings, so girly and vintage. Even enjoy pastel flower prints to add a femininity to your neutral coloured winter gear. It'll change your outfit, even if you've worn it a lot, and make it look completely different. As you're kind of seeing, again, a lot of these trends are super retro, and if not retro, then vintage. Pretty much from a time that is not now. So if you're watching this video and are thinking, I can't afford any of these pieces, pulling your hair out because you need a dopamine hit, I get you. Just. 
Don't buy yourself chocolate because it's two for one and you're gonna get a dolphin here. You'd have to buy dark chocolate. That'd suck. <laughs> Just buy vintage. Buy second hand. It helps the environment. It gives money to the fashion companies we want to survive this pandemic versus fast fashion companies. Did I say belts are in? Last one belts. A perfect way to add that finishing touch your outfit needs. It isn't a must, but oftentimes it's that extra hit you want in life, not the one that makes you gain a kilo. But by all means, gain a kilo. Gain two! Gain three! Hell, I know I have. I know you noticed I have. And just give a finger to the beauty industry. <laughs> so anyway, I'd just like to end this video by saying well, whatever the f*** you want. Who gives a f about trends? I know I'm contradicting the whole point of this video. You f do you. Because there comes a point when too many people keep wearing the same thing. <clears throat> pull on a wool. You just start to feel meh about it all. Ow. I just wanted to apologize for all that. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, there is a red button down below with the word subscribe on it. Click that. Next to it's a bell if you want to get reminded to come back every week, as well as the like button and the comment section. Are you keen? Did you like any of these trends? Or is fashion just not important after 2020? And should I start making cat videos? <laughs>